So have you ever tried an awesome craft with wine corks that required cutting the cork? You tried cutting them, they're too hard, they fell apart, or it just flat out felt dangerous? Well, I've got a great secret to help this project be a whole lot easier. Check it out. Before we get started on wine corks, I wanted to let you know that the home mortgage rate are still at historic lows and home values are rocking. Rents are skyrocketing, so it's a great time to buy. So give me an opportunity to help you get into this awesome market. Well, many of us that are wine drinkers tend to throw these corks away in a bowl or vase because someday we're going to make something out of them. My assistant Patsy decided one day to make wine charms for a party that she was having, so she got a handful of corks and started to cut. Either they were too hard or the knife wouldn't go through it or they crumbled, so she gave up. Then she found a method to prepare the corks for cutting, tried it, and it actually worked. Here's what she did. The first method is just to throw all the corks into a large pot, fill it with water so that they're all really well covered, put it on the stove, bring it to a boil, and keep it on a rapid boil for about 10 minutes. The second method is also really easy. It's really similar, just instead of submersing them in the water, steam it with the lid on again for 10 minutes, and either method works really great. Using a sharp knife as soon as the corks are just barely cool enough to handle, then start cutting. A serrated knife tends to work best if you're sawing back and forth just like bread. Try these methods, so let me know which one works best for you. Have fun crafting with wine corks. Thanks for joining me for the tip of the week, and see you next week for another great tip.